Welcome back. F-35 fighter jets have been flying over Madison for the past couple of months now. The U.S. military chose Madison as a home base for these multi-million dollar war machines. And we wanted to see how these F-35s are put together and meet the people who make them. So we sent NBC-15's Tim Elliott to Fort Worth, Texas to get a behind-the-scenes look at the F-35. The F-35 fighter jet came to Truax Field in Madison at the end of April to a lot of fanfare. But before then, it was meticulously put together piece by piece right here at the Lockheed Martin production facility in Fort Worth, Texas. It takes about 18 months to put one of these fighter jets together. It's then tested and then it's time for takeoff. The F-35 fighter jet is a modern marvel, a machine the U.S. military has never seen before. Tell me how impressive of a piece of machinery the F-35 really is. It is always great to have the latest and greatest uh, technology at your fingertips. Gene Gabby White is a retired Air Force fighter pilot. Now he works for Lockheed Martin in Fort Worth. His job is to be a liaison between the company and Air National Guard bases like Truax Field. And, and I'm very happy that, that we provide tools that keep our airmen safe, that keep our country safe, that keep you know, civilians at home safe. Chester 6-1, stand by. The F-35 is a highly complex weapon system, and it's all built right here in this room. Lockheed Martin provided us with this video. This is the F-35 production line at this Lockheed Martin facility in Fort Worth. And as you can see, the background it's kind of out of focus, and that's on purpose for security reasons. They don't want any of this technology to end up in the wrong hands. And you know the saying that everything is bigger in Texas. Well, that certainly rings true here, because from end to end, this facility is about a mile long. Arguably, this is probably the most powerful building in the world. Eloy Rodriguez has been working at Lockheed Martin for more than 20 years. The place runs in his blood. Both his parents are retired from this facility. What kind of employee, what kind of person works here on the production line at Lockheed Martin? These employees are very, very dedicated and very proud uh, to be here. This kind of job right here only comes once in a lifetime. And Rodriguez works in the coatings department. Basically, he's tasked with making sure the F-35 can't be seen. Uh, basically make the airplane disappear. Uh, and by doing so, that means invisible to radar. And the F-35 isn't just for the U.S. military. Lockheed Martin sells these fighter jets to countries all over the world, mainly in Europe, but also to places like Japan, Australia, Singapore. And they're not cheap. Each one of these costs about $80 million. The F-35 is a powerful weapon of war, and making a product like this comes with its fair share of criticism. I wish we lived in a world where we didn't need this kind of stuff. I, I'd, I'd be happy to, to live in that world where, you know, this type of stuff wasn't necessary. I know that there, there are bad people in the world, and, and we need to do what we can to prevent those bad people from influence, uh, influencing our nation, and that's, you know, that's what the Department of Defense does very well. And can you kind of tell the people of Madison what kind of product they got sitting in their backyard? You're getting nothing but the best. We pride on providing the best aircraft for the military. And I'm very proud to send uh, these F-35s to you guys in Madison. When the F-35s first came to Madison back in late April, we got three in that initial drop-off. We're going to get several more over the course of several weeks here. And when it's all said and done, after about a year, we're going to have 20 of those F-35s in Madison. Reporting from Fort Worth, Texas, I'm Tim Elliott for NBC 15 News. Very cool. Truax Field in Madison is one of 28 air bases across the country scheduled to house F-35 fighter jets. And now your